The real battle in any marriage isn't between you and your partner. It's actually a battle of the head and the heart. The heart stands for love and the head is in fear and looking for safety. The heart is looking for connection. The head is wondering if it's safe to connect. The heart wants peace. The head is ready to go into fight or flight. The heart can only show up in a relationship when your head can answer yes to the question, am I safe? Unfortunately, if you've been hurt before, if you've had trauma in your past, or if anger or stress is high, your brain is going to keep your heart from the connection. It's a constant battle in our relationships. Is it safe to connect with my partner right now? Will they turn away from me? Will they hurt me? Will they disappoint me? If I'm vulnerable, will they judge me? This is showing up in our world all over the place. We are pushing people away, canceling our loved ones because their differing opinions scare us. We try to get rid of hate by piling on more hate. We're scared and living in fear, making connection impossible, leading to the epidemic of loneliness. But what would happen if your heart of love always won over fear? What if you could turn off the fear in your brain and just lean into the heart in your relationship? Does it sound scary? Sure, you might get hurt. The truth is, if you continue to live in fear, trying to avoid getting hurt, then you will get exactly what you fear. Think about it. If you fear that your partner is going to leave you, then you'll continuously, maybe even unconsciously or subconsciously push your partner away. So you'll push them away before they get a chance to hurt you. Or you're going to grab on so tightly that your partner's going to feel trapped. And then what happens? Your partner leaves. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy that happens because the head a fear took over the heart of love. The moment in an argument when you're triggered because your partner yells at you just like your dad did when you were a child and you shut down, then your partner feels boxed out. The fear from your childhood took over and caused disruption in your marriage. If you truly live from a place of love in your marriage, you could open up and be vulnerable. You could feel safety in believing your partner is there. You could feel comfort in knowing you are good enough and deserving, and so is your partner. And this is where true connection happens. Yes, there's a chance you'll get hurt, but what's going to hurt more? A moment of feeling rejected or a lifetime of loneliness and disconnection because fear played the love game for you? What if your marriage was run by your heart instead of your head? How would that look different? How peaceful, loving, and beautiful could that be? It's my purpose to help you win the relationship battle of the head over the heart. I want to help you rewire, recode your brain to live from love instead of fear and to release the past hurts so that you can finally be open to receiving and giving deep love from the heart. And we, as a society, when we learn to do this, families heal Children will know what true love and connection looks like. Hate and fear will start to dissipate and we will all thrive because of it. And if that's you, if you want to start choosing love over fear, if you want to start using your heart over your head, in your marriage, in your life, everywhere, then join me and thousands of other women in the Awesome Wives Club where together we're kicking fear to the curb and bringing love to the door.